Before the Afghan music masters um, entertain us again with their art, there has been a recent addition to the program, but a rather timely one. Please join me in welcoming uh, Professor Federico Mayor, former Director General of the UNESCO from 1987 to 1999, and he will speak to us to mark the 30th anniversary of the UNESCO Chairs program, which was established under his leadership. Dear friends, I would very much like to be present today in this uh, 30th anniversary of the International UNESCO Chairs, because uh, the UNESCO Chairs were created in the year 1992, precisely to give at the highest level of teaching, at the highest level of learning, at the highest level of education, the main principles established in the UNESCO's constitution, in the UNESCO's constitution and in the UN Charter, in the United Nations Charter. Because today what we need precisely is this, is to learn how to be able to face in a creative way the main today we have so many uh, important threats some of them potentially reversible that we must face and we must be the winners because we must have the knowledge we must have the creativity in order to be able, I repeat, of this very big transition in the Anthropocene from a culture of force, a culture of uh, always being, if you wish, peace, prepare war, to the reason and the force of the world. Yes. What we need precisely today is make this very big transition. Si vis pacem para verum? No. Si vis pacem para verbum. If you wish peace, must prepare the war. If you wish peace, what you must do is to be able to have this higher learning that gives you the capacity to face these global threats that today, for the first time in history, some of them I repeat, are irreversible. I would like very much like to congratulate the organizers of this uh, meeting, of this ceremony, of this anniversary, and to tell what are the main uh, recommendations of the UNESCO's constitution in the preamble, we are told that we must be guided by democratic principles. Today, 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 in order to make the transition from a governance, a plutocratic governance, neoliberal governance from the uh, decade of the 80s until now, if we are 193 countries, why we must be always in the hands of the G6, G7, G8, that is finally in the hands of the G1. We must have democracy and we must be all equal. This is another of the things that the UNESCO's preamble of the Constitution says very clearly. All the human beings equal in dignity. All the human beings. Whatever is the gender, whatever is the the uh, sexual sensitivity, whatever is the belief or the ideology or the ethnia, all the human beings equal in dignity, but all the human beings unique and able to create. You know, these faculties, the measured faculties of every human being, a unique human being and he is able to create the creativity, the capacity to invent another future. This is what really what we must put into practice in this highest level of learning, of teaching. 
Dear friends, I would very much like to underline that uh, in the UNESCO Constitution preamble, it is also said that we must have the solidarity, of course material solidarity, but intellectual and moral solidarity. Because it is needed in order to, to declare that fraternity, as it is said in the first article of the Declaration, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, is precisely this, to be able to live all together and to be peaceful, to live peacefully. And in this sense, I would like also to underline that in the article number one of the UNESCO Constitution, it is said that the educated are those that are free and responsible. This is very important. Freedom is the supreme faculty of the human beings. But immediately after we must say, and responsible. And today we must be responsible. And we must take into action these intergenerational duties. We must not forget that what we leave to the next generations must be not the deterioration of the climate, not the deterioration of the habitability of the earth, that we must always be acting in a democratic way, guided by democratic principles, all equal in dignity, but at the same time, now that we can express ourselves for the first time in history, now we can express ourselves, we must be responsible. And we must be actors and not spectators. This is one of the most relevant things that I would like to conclude, tell you that in the United Nations Charter, as you know, it is said, with the peoples. And now we can be with the peoples, because until now it has been always with the states and all the representatives were males. Now, for the first time we can see, yes, now with the peoples, because now we can express ourselves freely. And now we know that we are all equal. That is not only males, that is not only male absolute power, it is also progressively this equality that is the best solution. Higher education, UNESCO's chairs, in order to transmit to all the people in the world, to all without exception, to transmit that we must be free and responsible, that we must communicate through word and image without any kind of obstacle, that we must be democratic, that we must be with actives, actors, not spectators. My dear friends, thanks for having this uh, session on the UNESCO chairs and I can assure you that is one of the best UNESCO tools in order to make this transition from a culture of force, a culture of imposition, a culture of domination, a culture of war, to a culture of encounter, to a culture of uh, dialogue, of conciliation, to a culture of peace.